season or uh, sometimes in summer season when the tides are much higher these waves are coming and complete the the area i'm standing now so will be under water actually our hospital is right next to us and sometimes the salt water has been affected uh, even it goes the waves goes inside the uh, hospital as well <music> Sea level rise is a lived reality in the Maldives. Water is everywhere in this island nation. It defines and sustains communities, but it also increasingly threatens them. Survival is a struggle now, and protection from nature and man-made engineering may not be enough if the world doesn't take the necessary urgent action to fight climate change. Even an incremental uh, increase in sea level rise poses significant uh, challenges for us. Already our coral reefs are bleaching and all the islands in the Maldives have run out of fresh water. And we increase severity of storms, our islands are getting flooded more and more and the weather has become more extreme. So this is what I want people to know, that we are actually living, we are um, experiencing the realities of the impacts of climate change on, on, on a daily basis. only take steps from what we know <coughs> and, and what we can foresee uh, given uh, at this given time. Uh, so compared to that, uh, I would say uh, Hulmale is a very, very safe place. But uh, we, we, what we don't know is how much uh, sea level uh, we are going to get uh, within the next uh, 50 or 100 years. Often these projects are designed in a way that it actually makes the islands more vulnerable to climate change. And so while we raise funds to increase the resilience of the islands, while we raise funds to 
protect our mangroves and our wetlands, you also find that mangroves are destroyed on another part of the island and coral reefs are destroyed for reclamation projects. And so I think a huge issue is also managing what sort of development do we really need? Do we need destructive projects that build um, you know, more land for these islands or do we really need sustainable development that increases the resilience of these people and island communities? It's a double-edged sword for us and um, when we think about reclamation we also know that um, countries like ours, our, res our uh, marine resources, are very, which we are very much dependent on, are impacted because of reclamation. But at the same time, we also need land. We also need higher ground uh, for us to keep uh, living, continue to live in these islands. What we're doing is we're creating a, a city in the middle of a lagoon using floating technology. These cities will have uh, uh, the sewer system, fresh water system, and also uh, the houses, each house that sits in front of the water. We are building in a way that uh, how to accommodate the way we live traditionally. This is going to be the future of the way I think low-lying island people live. We think if we produce this in the Maldives, this will be a very good example for other parts of the world who also want to expand land without reclamation. started seeing the changes, I actually now want them to love the ocean. Maybe some people are scared of the ocean because of what they have heard or from the TV. Still, they are somehow connected to the ocean. It's our bloodline, so we are ocean people.